Indian Hills Winery is located in Puxico, Missouri, among a beautiful setting on top of a hill overlooking their vineyard. The view leading up their winding road to the winery, as well as sitting outside at the winery, feels as if you're looking at a 3D picture. The views are so spectacular that they almost feel surreal. Not only do the views capture your attention, but the winery owners, their wine, food, and service are also outstanding. FeelTheWineOnline.com and LocateAWinery.com visited Indian Hills Winery to deliver their very own winery mobile app. After discussing the winery mobile app, we were treated to a wine tasting. We tried their white and red wines, but really liked the Cayuga white wine, so we ordered a bottle of it. The Cayuga white is their driest white wine and ended up being our favorite wine of the day. The wine, as Indian Hills describes it, is a semi-dry white that has a hint of tropical fruit flavors with a light floral aroma. That's a very good description, but put into one word, it was scrumptious. Nicole, the owner, took us on a personal tour of their winemaking facility where all their wines are made. She explained how they take the grapes to wine, bottle, to even how they make their own labels. She further described their harvest and how all the grapes come into the crusher and destemmer. The grapes go into the hopper and go between the rollers and the grapes get crushed breaking the skins, and then they go through the vat. Then they get weighed. It's important to weigh everything for state regulations. Depending on which wine is being made, red or white, it depends on how they ferment the wine. The red stays in the macro bins for a week for fermentation, and the white wine goes into a system called Lucy, which has a bladder in it. So water goes into the bladder and the juice goes into a bucket. Then Nicole described their labeling system. The bottle is laid into a roller as the label goes on. They are able to label up to 1600 bottles in three and a half hours. After labeling, they cap the bottles using a heating coil system. Their winemaking process is impressive and continues to be refined as they grow. They started out with about 1,030 vines of both red and white varieties of grapes, and they now have 1,200 vines on the property, and they host several events a month. The operation is truly a family-owned and run winery with Nicole, her husband Marty, daughter, son-in-law, and other relatives helping out as needed during the harvest and from bottling, labeling, serving, preparing, and serving food. If you're hungry, their food is also very good. Everyone in the winery the day we were there were eating. It was hard to choose from their menu, but we did. We had an incredible meat and cheese platter that was more than enough for lunch. The platter was made up with five artisanal cheeses and five different sausages served with amazingly tasting hot bread. While eating on the patio, there was great entertainment to listen to by a singer from Nashville called Jennifer Young. She performed while everyone enjoyed their wine and food. This talented singer grew up locally but now lives in Nashville. Her singing added to an already remarkable atmosphere. Indian Hills Winery is a little off the beaten path, but going to this winery is so worth adding it to your list of wineries to visit. Fair warning though, you should be prepared for good food, great wine, friendly host, and talented entertainment as you create a memory while sipping a glass of wine.